If you want to have a full understanding of today's topic, watch our previous videos on chemistry. So in our last lecture, we stopped where J.J. Thompson was questioning himself. Where do these cathode rays came from? Do they have masses? Do they have charges? So he, the method he used in answering these questions was very clever that made him won a Nobel Prize in physics. So, assume this is the cathode ray tube. So assuming this is a cathode ray tube, you know he placed his cathode here and his anode here. We've discussed it in our last, last lecture. So in, in order to find out whether they have mass and where they came from and do they have charges or not, J.J. Thompson create a hole here. In this anode <clears throat> this is cathode and this is anode so he created a small hole here in this anode already the rays are coming from cathode to the anode cathode to anode cathode to anode so he noticed that this rays passes through that hole and you go straight To the other side of this cathode ray tube, but he did not notice where exactly this rays touches. So he now said, "Okay, let me paint this end surface of this cathode ray tube with a substance called the phosphor." So he painted here with phosphor, and this cathode rays. When they get in contact with phosphor, they causes glowing of the area they touch. So before you, before you know, the place just create a glow, glow like this, boom. So, so now he noticed that they came from cathode to anode, and they cast this glow on this phosphor. Okay, now he wants to know whether they are positively charged or negatively charged. So this man is very clever. He now used positive plates here on this side and negative plate on the other side. He passes the electricity again. So instead of this rays to move straight like this, there were, you know that law that says like charges repel or like charges attract. So he noticed that this rays were attracted by this positively charged and repelled by this negatively charged. So they became like this. Sorry. They became like this. And create the glue here. So from there, he knows that this cathode rays are negatively charged. We'll continue in our next lecture. So if you want to watch lectures related to chemistry, you can go directly to our website www.drtamalembi.com. Thank you.